Welcome to our snow day slash sunny day reading for January 2018. Remember, it's a general reading, so see what feels right for you. See which signs and symbols have meaning to you. We're not all going through the same thing at the same time, but we're all psychic. We're all children of God, so this could clarify something about the past, shed light into the future, or be right in sync with the now. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everybody. Feel free to make this an interactive video if you want to pull some cards for yourself. And if you have some time, check out the musical playlist below. I find there's always some extra signs that come through the lyrics or the videos or just some good music to hear. Um, in the end, see what feels right to you, what you're drawn towards. I hope you enjoy this reading and I'll see you in a moment. So there's some crazy weather going on outside, and I thought we could do a snow day reading. Even if it's sunny and beautiful where you are, let's tap on into the energies coming through at the beginning of January 2018. I have a bunch of different decks of cards in front of me here to use. But before I begin, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you. I felt so much love when reading all of your beautiful comments. I feel so blessed that you're all in my soul family. So thank you, I love you so much. Let's do a reading and get some insight into the energies coming through at the beginning of the new year. So we're gonna start with the Wizard's Tarot. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels and energies of love have for the highest and greatest good of all. Let's get some clarity on the energy coming through at the beginning of January 2018 and wisdom to ride these energies best. We'll start with one card. One card to help us out, bring some wisdom in our world. So we're beginning with the Six of Swords. This is a good card. This means after the storm has passed, the waters are smooth and you know how to navigate your ship. So it's coming up for a breath of fresh air. It's um, having some rough terrain that went on in the past, but that rough terrain helped you navigate your boat, your ship, your path better. So. Um, you don't always jump into a new car and know how to use it. You don't always get a new phone or device and become a whiz right away. It takes a little bit of time, patience, um, learning to learn how to navigate something. So this card comes through when you're past that hump of, um, like the storm has blown over and smoother times are ahead. If there's still a storm a brewing, it's because you're learning something now and that time is valuable so that if the storm ever comes again down the road, you know what to do. You've learned where your windshield wipers are, you know? So this is a nice card. Um, when I think of the six, I think of love, you know, the lovers, but I think of love. So. Um, maybe something that's hard in the beginning becomes the, the thing you love the most because, you know, it, it wasn't just given to you. It took a little extra effort. Um, I see, like, t I want to say tumbling. I know that's really weird, but, like, gymnastics tumbling. Um, sometimes you can be a natural at something, and sometimes it takes, like, learning step one, learning how to do a somersault before you do a cartwheel, before you do a back handspring. So maybe some of you had children that are in uh, sports, activities. I'm getting something physical. So maybe even like a martial art, something like that. You have to start at the white belt, you know, before you become the black belt. Um, you have to do something repetitive sometimes so it becomes a natural reaction. So it becomes natural and not forced or have, ha 
something you have to think about so much. So this card comes through when you get to that place where you don't have to put so much effort into the how it works category. So here, there's actually somebody helping you navigate your boat and you're just kind of sitting down or you could be this person instructing others on how to navigate their ship, that storm that came through. Uh, I'm getting breakup. Maybe somebody has kids that are going through a breakup, their first love, something like that. Maybe it's you. Um, maybe it's even a new relationship and it's a fight, uh, like arguments. Maybe it's learning how to hear one another um, so that uh, the waters aren't, you know, so maybe it's not somebody in particular roughing up those waters. Maybe you can help go around the storm a little is kind of what I'm getting. I hope that made sense. That was sort of a detour. Um, six of swords. I also think of singing <laughs> here. Um, this looks like the dude that sings on the boat in Venice a little bit to me. So maybe there's, um, hmm, like a range that was difficult before. And once you get past the break, if you're a singer, I think you know what that means when practice and have it become natural, then, uh, there's be beauty in the falsetto. I hope that made sense. Um, so that it's even let's continue. All right, so Six of Swords, smoother waters ahead, uh, learning how to navigate your boat, learning how to handle that storm if it ever comes through again in the future. So if there was a storm in the past, now you know what you're doing. Now you know uh, what to look out for, how to prepare better for it in the future. Sometimes it's just bringing the old raincoat, getting bundled up if it's snowy outside, bringing your swimsuit if you know there's a pool or you want to go swimming rather than, you know, having nothing to wear later. Um, all right, so let's continue. Let's get more information, more clarity on the Six of Swords. We're going to move along to the Art of Life Tarot. Um, let's get clarity on smoother waters ahead. Maybe learning to navigate a new ship, your own ship, or somebody else's. Um, I feel like there's more than one person involved here. I feel like there's definitely a partnership. So maybe it's giving somebody else the keys to your, you know, vehicle to move forward with somebody in a partnership. Um, maybe I'm getting like study partners, something that you can do with someone else where you do it together. It's easier together than on your own. I see flashcards now. Um, maybe there's somebody that couldn't learn something one particular way, but um, if you change the approach on how to understand that subject, maybe it's retained more easily. I hope that made sense. All right, let's continue. Wow, I went from gymnastics to music to martial arts to driving a car or a ship to relationships to fight. That was a lot on that card. All right, let's get another card on the Six of Swords. Clarity, understand smoother waters ahead. The Page of Swords. Okay, so um, I see this sometimes as the little stinker card. The Page of Swords... Uh, usually has very good intentions. This could be a person or this could be information. Um, usually when this information comes through, it's worth taking your time and not rushing into something. Um, this little guy or gal likes to rush on into something that they're really excited about. They get a focus, a mission, and they want to accomplish it. They just want that. And sometimes they bypass all the important things. This is the one that wants the black belt right away right away and wants to bypass all the important steps that go in it. So it's taking all those important steps to make your way towards something. Even if that's a new relationship or a relationship you have, take the time necessary to make it work. Have patience with this card. So this could be some information that comes through that makes you want to jump on something, but maybe it's worth sitting down and doing some research first. This could be a person that you know that likes to rush into something. If it's someone you know, it's a younger energy, or it's you feeling like a kid again, like you're excited and you want to do something like, um, I see like the kid that goes skiing 
and doesn't even use their poles and doesn't do any like smooth moves over the moguls they just go straight down the hill and they don't care how big that hill is they're just going to go straight and as fast as they can sometimes it's worth learning to get your body moving and going around the moguls and going the long way down the hill all right so i went to skiing with that one um i also see the page of swords as the little stinker so this is the little kid or person you know that sometimes hears something and gets really excited about it so it's the kid that overhears their parents talking about getting a new pool and before they even go shopping or that's even settled to discuss with the family they run out and tell the whole neighborhood <laughs> that's what's gonna happen so this could be news that comes through prematurely um, so make sure you get all the information. Let's see what the quote is here. Um, when the student, oh, that's cool. So maybe it is helping somebody that is learning to navigate a ship. The quote here is a Buddhist proverb and it's when the student is ready, the master will appear. Also, when the master is ready, the right student will appear. Um, when I was teaching, um, jewelry making and like metalworking, I found that I learned the most from my students, from how they messed up, from what they did that I never did as a mistake, particularly on my own. I had different mistakes, but working with others' mistakes made me a stronger teacher. So, um, getting through those storms, those rough patches, working together, doing something a different way, perhaps thinking outside the box learning something a different way. Um, whoever this is, they keep you on your toes or you're keeping someone else on their toes. Um, I'm hearing questions. So maybe there's a lot of questions going on around this person in particular, or maybe you need to ask a lot of questions and start there and see where it takes you. Um, this is Paul writing detail by Kemel Passerio, 1894 private collection. I'll let you see that. It also makes me think of the story by Edgar Cayce. Um, when he was young, he would fall asleep on his school books and wake up and know everything that was in the books. He didn't actually go through the book and study it. He just retained it somehow by falling asleep on his books. Now, I'm not necessarily recommending that, but maybe there is a different way. Maybe you could do a study guide for something and listen to it in your sleep. Or, um, I see writing and also I want to say, um, architecture for some reason I, I see like um, shapes here. So maybe you're drawing something or doing plans or blueprints, something like that. Maybe it starts with an outline and that helps you get your focus together so that when you start doing what's in between, it flows better. Or maybe it's just starting and then finding your outline after you just do a bunch of chicken scratch gibberish. Um, but I think there's research involved here. You're, you're helping somebody do some research or it's up to you to do that. Or it's because of the storms you've already been through that you're able to help somebody and maybe recognize something that they're going through. There's a helpful influence here. Or it's you getting back to work like a little kid studying something that you're really into. But don't rush, you know, because you're not natural at it right away or you're not an expert right, right away doesn't mean you're not going to be. You know, you have to learn a little bit in the beginning and feel a little awkward in that first dance class or whatever you take. I'm getting also mechanic. So maybe there's like a Votech type skill, like woodworking, uh, metalworking, working on cars, pottery, uh, something I'm getting with your hands, um, that it, it, it starts perhaps feeling a little awkward and rough, like you're going back to the beginning again here, but maybe you pick it up fast or it just the right teacher comes through and something you tried in the past that you thought was really difficult, perhaps when you find that right teacher, all of a sudden it makes more sense. You know, you get it. I can think of quite a few different skills I had where I thought it was difficult until I found that right teacher. And once I found the right teacher, it all just sunk right in effortlessly. So that's pretty cool. Let's continue. Let's get another card from the Archangel Oracle cards. 
let's get clarity on the Page of Swords and the Six of Swords. Teacher, student, student, teacher energy. Um, there's also a lot of things you can learn online. I mean, you could basically, basically learn how to build a house yourself by watching YouTube. So maybe it's like home study, something like that. Maybe it's the inner workings of something. Like you always wondered how they made this. You could probably find it, <laughs> you know, on YouTube. There's some interesting things that people put up. So let's get clarity on the Page of Swords and the Six of Swords. Oh, outdoors. That's cool. So Archangel Jophiel, go outside. <laughs> it's like a, there's a storm of brewing outside here now, but maybe when, when it's the right time, maybe it's taking time inside first and when you can get outside, go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. I actually do have to get bundled up pretty soon to go outside and check Buddy the horse and make sure he's doing all right. So outdoors, go outside, get some fresh air, um, ski, ice skate, swim, go on a walk, meditate in nature, um, feel the wind, you know, on your face, feel it if it's cold, feel it if it's warm, but maybe it's that connection with nature that's going to make these ideas feel fresh. Or maybe if you're stuck and you have writer's block, something like that, it's just going on a walk. Maybe going on a walk with somebody else is exactly what they need and you have to be the one to suggest it. Um, so creative ideas are going to come through something outside. Whether that comes from within you, getting outside in a different environment is going to spark those ideas. Or it's something that you need to see that's out there. It's not where you're sitting inside all the time with the same old stuff around you. There's something waiting to inspire you out there. So... You have to get out and go find it, see what it is. When you find it, you'll know it's for you. Or you'll see something that you know is an idea for somebody else. It's like the universe, God has prepared it to be right there on your path, you know, at a turning point for you to notice, to see. It's just up to you to see it and to uh, follow through with that idea or that person that you meet. Um, I'm getting like store windows. I know that's weird. So maybe something in a, like a store window, like even a book, or, um, you know, when people put those, uh, like lessons, you know, guitar lessons or I clean houses or something like that, where they put it like the post office and you tear something at the bottom, like old school way, maybe it's something like that. That's going to connect you. It could be, I'm getting, uh, maybe you do like healing, you know, you work with stones or you do Reiki healing or yoga or, you know, you're into meditation or you are, um, you do something like um, crochet or whatever. Maybe it's um, doing a meetup, you know, getting some people together that wish they could learn and using what you have as a talent to help others. Um, I, just, I definitely see like a poster, something like that specifically. So maybe it's something like that that you're going to see a billboard, a poster. Maybe it's something that's your own design. Maybe you can des design some kind of advertisement or something and get it printed and put that magnet on the side of your car so when someone else is outdoors, they can see what you have to offer. That's kind of cool. That's sort of what I see. Definitely something on paper or something that draws you towards something else. Um, I want to say like numbers, you know, a phone number, a call, a website, um, a YouTube channel, something like that. So that's pretty cool. There's also beautiful roses here, a fountain, makes me think of the spring, a spring, um, water flowing, uh, there's so many roses. I feel like there's an offer here. I feel like you're going to recognize what that is. So. I have the Oracle of Visions by Sierra Machetti. I haven't used these in a long time. So let's pull one more card to clarify outdoors, Page of Swords, and the Six of Swords. Let's get some 
clarity to sum up these cards, sum up the reading for our snow day, sunny day reading for January 2018. One more card to bring clarity to what we're wondering, how to ride these energetic waves best. One card to help us out. Oh, that's nice. This is the card. All right, I, I looked at this card earlier because I wanted to make sure that this book was this particular deck. I don't keep them together. So I flipped to this to make sure that the picture in the book was the card that was on the top before, and now this card came through. So this is nice. So at least for me, that's a little synchronicity coming through. 33. Maybe the number 33 is important. Um... I seem to be seeing a lot of threes lately. So I see three as a creative number. Um, partnership, creative energy flowing. Here it's a 33, so that's a six. So we have a six of swords, and this breaks down um, numerology-wise to a six as well. But it's also a master number with 33. Um, I want to say it's a connection to Pisces. You have the Pisces symbol here, and you have, I think this is a Kingfisher, which um, recognize the right catch. They don't always go for the biggest fish. They go for the one that is theirs that they are going to definitely catch. There's also a beautiful ballerina here, just sort of taking a moment to meditate, to dip her toe into the serene waters and... Um, I feel like she has this delicate line here that she's fishing from, but she's just waiting to see what she pulls in. Um, patience, not pushing. So let's see what 33 means. Um, I'll show you what I looked at before. That's what I was double checking to make sure that this matched this, that I had the right booklet for the deck. So, oh, it is. It's patience and waiting for the right moment. So time is but a stream I go a fishing in. I drink at it, but while I drink, I see the sandy bottom and detect how shallow it is. Its thin current slides away, but eternity remains. And that's Henry David Thoreau. Um, when I see the sandy, I think of like a filter in water, like a natural filter in the stream. A ballerina casts a golden line and lure which, uh, with which to capture a desired goal or item. The process is calm and planned. The pace leisurely. There is no rush nor looming deadline. She will know when the time, right time has come and the moment is appropriate. A kingfisher, a harbinger of tranquility, accompanies her and together they will wait. Despite the desire for results, some occasions or decisions simply should not be rushed. We should approach either with caution or restraint, waiting for the opportune moment. We must also be wary of being too indulgent and devoting too much time waiting for some imagined perfect moment, person, or thing. Worthy opportunities may be lost if they are overlooked in anticipation of some intangible better option to arrive. So when you see that thing, that inspiration, that number, that thing that you get a little twist in your stomach or a little urge somehow to act upon, act upon it. Don't let that moment pass you by. It's there for a reason. Don't think that the better opportunity, opportunity is around the corner. Sometimes it's that small opportunity that you take that follows you towards that next bigger opportunity. Um, you know, I'm getting like, uh, I want to say like buying a house, you know, like sometimes that first house that you might buy is not necessarily your dream house, but it could be that perfect stepping stone to bring you towards your dream house and make that next purchase or place that you end up more accessible to you. So I hope that made sense. I hope you enjoyed this reading and it was helpful. I love you so much and I will see you soon. Bye.